I would like to welcome everyone and this video will be showing you how to answer your question one for information processing N4 which is timed accuracy test. So I'll be using the, the last year November 2022 question paper. So and if you're in need of the question paper you can just go to this website. I've just, I'll just provide the link on the description below. So go to revolutionary.coza, this way we could get past question papers and I'll be using uh, one of the question papers from that website. So you go to question papers and then uh, you can filter question paper here. In this case I'm looking for uh, N4 and then I'm looking for 2022 question paper and then I'm looking for, for the one for, okay, let me use this one for for November. So as you are aware that with information processing, it's it's a three-hour question paper. It consists of about a minimum of of eight nine questions, right? Section A and section B. And um, so the first question is usually your time to accuracy test. So you'll be given ten minutes to 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 type some to type some text. So this is a timed. Um, question right it's it can it should be done in 10 minutes and um, that is usually question one it's just test your speed right so uh, one of the things that you want to take note of when it comes to king in uh, your time to accuracy test you need to of course it only can be achieved through practice right for you to be able to type that entire text in the in question one rather than the question paper it is through practice so if you you practice give yourself time to practice then eventually as time goes on you will improve you'll be able to to type the entire text in, in that given time so there's some kind of like requirement in terms of the speed you should have in and for and again that can be achieved through practice you need to practice by just you know giving you giving yourself some time and just you know um, and then having some text and then you just use past question papers rather and you just put some time then you time yourself you know in 10 minutes and see how far you can you can go and keep on you know something that needs to be done consistently and then by time the time goes on you will be able you will in definitely improve so you have section a which is typing technique and section b which is word processing so for now this video will only be uh, about uh, question one time to accuracy test in terms of how do you key in the your your examination number you know the headers the font all that kind of stuff right um yeah and then okay anyway let's just go into it but before i we dive into it um there as i say there are things that you want to take note of when it comes to question one number one since this has to be done in 10 minutes right um, what is important is the it's not necessarily being able to type what is there on the question paper exactly as it is. Although that's important, the accuracy, the speed is also important. Important, right? So it's not a matter of you being able to type fast and finishing all the entire text that is there and typing it all. You need to take accuracy into, into consideration, right? That's why it's called timed accuracy test, right? It's timed. Time is important and accuracy. So while you have limited time to type this entire text, you need to make sure whatever that you type is accurate enough. So which means you type whatever that you see on the question paper as it is. You don't make any uh, spelling errors, right? It's important. So both time and accuracy going hand in hand. So don't just rush to finish the typing the entire text. Whatever that you, you, you manage to type, right? As long as it is accurate enough, then you, you probably could get uh, more marks rather than typing the entire text in question one only to find out that there are some spelling errors you see it becomes a problem the one so yeah um, so this is question one timed accuracy test and then it's actually it's 20 marks rather right in n4 n5 and n6 it to always be 20 marks and then you are told about the margins now before again you attempt to answer any question it's very important for you to proofread first before you attempt to answer the question so you just proofread go through the entire question first i think you are given time right before you attempt to answer the question just to go through the question first before you answer it and then you have usually this kind of like a box with comes with instructions so you you supposed to 
go through these instructions again before you answer so you start off with these instructions in this box and then we can go forth and start you know king in your your or your your question one in this case so start off with the margins we'll go to the paper let's, let's start off with margins because it's probably the first thing that you would do one thing to take note is that when it comes to 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 to, to the font right at some point you may not be you may come across a question where you're not told the font if that is the case then the default font which you're supposed to use will be Corenium 12 pt right but in this case you we are specifically told which kind of like a, a font to use and you're also told the speed you see the speed the minimum speed there should be 35 wpm stands for a word per minute for you to be able to type this entire text and finish it in in, in, in 10 minutes you need to have about a speed of about 35 words uh per minute okay anyway so let's start off with the margins so you open your word program so if you don't have it you just let me know i will just uh, provide you a link where you can download it right so i'm using um microsoft word here since information processing it's microsoft word throughout from n4 to n6 it will be information it will be microsoft word so you open just any document and just create any document as what i've done right now and then you just for the instructions i think i've already told you that if you're looking for this question paper you can just go to this link and then uh, to this uh, website rather and then go to question papers and then you come across the, the question although i was i'll keep on adding other question papers not only for ip infusion processing but for also other modules as well all right so let's start off the margin so you're told the margins here we gave left and right margin now one thing again you need to be very careful in terms of you know in setting these measurements so these actually one measurement so you only choose one which you want to use even if your default measurement for your program it is inches and you you insert centimeters by your program by by default it to automatically you know convert it right into centimeters or rather into inches right so it doesn't matter whatever measurement you use the the the, the your, whatever program you are using well, most of the weight in this case Will automatically convert it to the uh, measurement that the program itself uh, uses right so in this case you choose only one right you choose only one so in this case you have 2.54 centimeters or the sorry uh, yeah or one inch so you choose only one you don't insert them at all all of them you just choose only one so this is just a conversion so 2.54 centimeters is actually is equal to one inch so you either you choose inches with the double question mark or you use centimeters right so in this case uh, the word that i'm using the program that i'm using by default it uses inches and how do you know that whether it's inches or or centimeters if you go to your ruler right there if 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 if, if it's not showing then you can go to i think you can go to your view and then make sure your ruler is enabled here if i go back to home here then uh the, you have this ruler Cutting this ruler, it, it has numbers between one and seven. So if your your word program that you're using is numbers between uh, number of the measurements, then the number line or whatever between one and seven, it suggests that uh, your document uses inches. If it's if there are numbers between one and fourteen, fifteen, then your document uses centimeters. So that's uh, probably how you would another way of of, of checking whether your word program uses inches or centimeters. But mine uses inches as i've told you that it doesn't matter whatever measurement your program unit of measurement the program uses right even if you i insert centimeters one program uses inches you to automatically convert those centimeters into inches let me show you so in this case we're told about the margins how to insert your margins how do you insert your margins you go to layout and then you see there's this page set up here you can easily go to margins and just you know say customize margins yeah other way it works you can go come open this it'll open something like this which is a page setup and then this allows you to insert uh, your your margins in this case you're only given the right and the, le the left and the right margin margins which is the only margins that i would kind of like insert so um yeah so we are told that left and right margin should be both 2.54 centimeters or one inch so in this case already it's already one inch right so which means i would leave it as it is and just click ok but anyway let me just change this into centimeters 
Now, if I say uh, 2,54 centimeters, right, both left and right. Take note, my document uses inches, right, but even if I put centimeters, right, it will automatically convert them. But take note again, I said you only choose one. So if I click OK, you see they're inserted. Now, at some point, you may come across an error, right? Let me just try and change this, especially if you're going to use centimeters. If I, let me just remove uh, this. So let me try, so let me try to choose a comma instead of a dot uh, for the measurement. So it, you'll see what will happen. So if I try to use a comma instead of a dot and try to click OK, something like this, you get this error. Now, the reason why I'm getting this error is because uh, you are using um, an commas instead of dot but that that depends upon the computer right at some point you may use dot and then you get that error so which means you need to replace the dot with the comma if you have used the comma and give, it gives you this error it means replace the comma with the dot so yeah it, it might happen so either you replace the dot with the comma or the comma with the dot right if it gives you such an error so in this case i will use a dot instead of a comma so yeah, as you see, I'm I'm not using okay, it's actually five four, not five zero. Sorry for that. Then I click OK, the margins have been inserted. Now if I go back again, you'll see that this it is uh, the program in this case word automatically converted those centimeters into inches, right? So we just choose only one measurement and then we just insert it. Now since we are done with uh, the margins, I'll go back here. And then now I'll go to the font. Now the font we are told to use Korea New. So I just type Korea font, just type Korea New there. Korea New. And then the 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 the, 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 the font size should be 12 pt, right? By default. And then yeah, and then what else? Uh, I've done this and then the paper, A4 portrait, no, the orientation rather. So how do you change the pay the, the orientation? So I don't know for you to do that. Again, you come to layout, and then you have this orientation here. You see now it's portrait, which is what's supposed to be. So you just make it portrait. If they say lens, the instructions say it landscape, then you change that into landscape. Currently, it just said portrait, right? Just leave it as it is. What else? Um, the hyphenation are told to say none. So how do you change the hyphenation? Just right there. So it's already none, right? And then what else? Uh, it is the the alignment and the line spacing. So the alignment, we can change it to go back to home here and then we have these kind of alignment. So we have left, we have center, we have right, and then we have justify, um, justify right? So yeah, this is how you align. Currently it's on my left, that's all it is. It is. And then the line spacing, you come just right there and then it says it's two. They can, be, they can say two, they can say double. It just means one and the same thing. So make double like that. Then after doing that, okay, let me just go back and make sure that it's left aligned. And um, then after doing that, you can start off with typing the text. Now, see, time, the, the time across the test must be keyed in only once, right? The passage allows for speeds of 35 to 40 words per minute. As the header, now, this is another thing again. As the header, key in your examination number left aligned, the question number right aligned. So how do you do that? Is the header? Question number, examination number. Now, the examination, num examination number, rather, is usually uh, your identity number, right? But however, it is the number that is written on your timetable, right? On your timetable before you write, right? You get timetable. So whatever number that is there, even though it's incorrect, you have to write that very same number that is, that is there, which is usually your ID number. So ID number, usually it is your what? Your examination number, all right? So... Keen as a header, your examination number left aligned. So how do you do that? So I would uh, go, you'd come to, ins to insert and then you have your header here. Click on the header. And uh, I usually use this built-in one, this one, because with this one, so it's it, the text already aligned there. So if we have both your left, right, and, 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 and center. So I'll use this one. And then now I can replace this one with the examination number, which is supposed to be left aligned. So which is usually ID number. I don't know whatever ID number is. Uh, you write it there. And then here I'll remove it. And then this one, it should be the question number, which is I think it was something like question question one, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. 
let me check um, it's actually yeah question numbers question one right aligned so as you can see the question is right aligned the question number is right aligned and then the, the examination number is actually right aligned and then yeah and then you can now close your header and then now you can start typing whatever text you're supposed to type i won't type this because uh, it might be kind of like wasting time so i'm just going to show you a simple example here so suppose this was the text don't mind what i'm doing currently because you don't need to know what basically i'm doing so i'm just generating some random uh, paragraphs so assuming that this was the text that you're supposed to type right so you you, you just type the text in that given time so when they say start you start doing all of this and they say stop then you stop so assuming take note i'm doing this for example purposes assuming this was the text that you're supposed to type so this is the text then you type it right and then you're done typing it they say it stop and then you need to stop and right and then after doing that the instruction goes on to say um save the document as q1 and print so in this case depending or rather depending upon the institution that you're in you know you should have kind of like printers and such that as, as you once you're done you know printers connected to some form of like network like as soon as you're done you just print and then it gets printed all right so in this case uh, save the document as q1 and print so in this case how do you do that so if you want to save just go to file in this case uh we can just say save or save as in this case because even if i say save as it will prompt me if even if i say save it will prompt me to save as and give the document the name right so even save or save as doesn't matter for now but you know go to save as and then probably i might go to let me see um okay let me just go to browse and then usually you should have your kind of like a folder Usually you should have a folder uh, with um, with your name and your ID number where you would save your work, All right? So you should have definitely have a folder. So if you don't have a folder, I advise you to create a folder. So let me just create one folder here. Uh, go to new and then folder, wherever your name is. I don't know, whatever your name is right here. And then your full name rather, and then your ID number here. And then yeah, you can open. Now then, it's very important to save according to the instruction. Now this instruction, the instruction from this document say that you need to save this as as what as Q one. So I'll just save it as per the instruction. So I'm just I'm just going to say um, go to file name. Just make sure it's Q one, and you just save it there. And then that's it. You're done with the question one. Then you can move into uh, the other question. All right, I think I'm done for this question in this case, but if it happens that there, there might be questions that may arise, just let me know. Or you can also comment, right? Leave a comment in the in the comment section, right? But I'll leave all the details in the description below, but you can comment in the comment section if it happens that you do have any questions, right? Um, yeah, I think, yeah, that's it for now. Thank you.